What's going on, everybody? Ben back again, the Lone Ranger, for another reaction. And today I'm joined by my co host of uh, Two Sticks and Pure Rage and We Are Wrestling Podcast right here on YouTube, Danny Huckins. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Happy to be here on your massively grown channel, man. Last time I was here, I think you had a little <laughs> less than a thousand subs. Now you're. You're far away from me, man. You're in a whole nother galaxy, bro. <laughs> that happened very randomly, but that's not what we're here for. Right now, we're going to be checking out the brand new uh, Beartooth song with Hardy, uh, The Better Me. Um, as you guys know, and as Danny Boy knows over here, uh, Caleb Shomo has suffered quite a bit mental health wise. And mm -hmm. in this new album that they're producing is everything opposite of that. And the fact that he's thriving, he's really taking control of his mental health and his life. And uh, he's really going down a very solid path. And you can definitely here and it reflects in the music he writes now this is definitely no different now unlike danny i've only heard the song once and it's still kind of fresh to me so this is kind of like a new reaction for me uh, especially for the music video and all i know is that they're golfing during this this is a brand new blind reaction for danny so uh to kind of uh give us both some uh time on our channels and shit we figured why not do a bear tooth song together something that uh we definitely value is metal in our household so we're about to go in so guys without further ado this is the better me by bear tooth featuring hardy uh dan i know that you're a fan of hardy uh any expectations going in um hardy is more of like he's he's a country artist mixed with like southern rock i would like to classify him as uh, he's good he's good stuff man like i said you know he performed uh, earlier this year at royal rumble at wwe uh, performance wasn't the best. He got a lot of a lot of hate for it, but yeah. uh, you know the dude is a shitty. very talented artist, man. So, and it shows in this song for sure. And I'm really really stoked on it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it, man. So, without further ado, guys, let's get it. How many times have I said I was gonna be someone when I get back on to my feet? Tomorrow I'm gonna make changes, cause today I can barely speak. Hit him with the rim. <laughs> This is Hardy right here. So, thoughts so far, bro? Man, this is seems like a, a a fun Saturday night, man. And like you know, like uh, we used to have somebody that we used to hang out with several years ago, and you know, uh, this was almost like a, a besides the golfing, this is almost like a nightly routine, man. Just cruising around, listening to music, you know, just you know, talking shop, you know, just talking about music and just fucking raging the fuck out, man. Man, great uh... stuff. I hate that you brought that up because I think about those days quite a bit, man, because where they were the, some of the worst days of my life, they were also some of the most memorable and some of the, yeah. the times that I kind of missed for that one particular reason was just, you know, being surrounded by a bunch of my friends and really cranking the shit out, just talking shit, you know, another Saturday night and, 
you know that that's the the bittersweet thing about growing up you know you kind of eventually separate and go your separate paths and it's bittersweet but you know it happened and we got things like this to remember it by so i 100 percent can definitely stand behind that sentiment um but all around i feel like this is just one big redemption song you know yeah. like it's a it's a it's a redemption anthem and i feel like hardy definitely really adds to this whole plethora of what caleb's trying to bring across and this whole positivity movement that we're going in you know and i really i couldn't be happier for him in terms of like mental health and you know the fact that he's really doing well physically mentally you know he's in the best shape of his life and all around you know yeah. i think that you know it's great and it's definitely reflecting in his in his new tunes and his new music so really really excited to get into it. and hardy man he's really starting to grow on me like at first i wasn't sure he's uh, i do like the song sold out that he did for royal rumble 100 yeah. percent I really do want to start checking out some more Hardy shit because I really do think that the dude has a lot to offer. So I, the, be him being in this song really has opened my mind even more, uh, which is, again, the whole point of features is to really broaden and expand audiences. And it really does yeah. help. So really stoked on that. So let's and continue. Like, and like with and like with Caleb, like, you know, we, we were talking about this, you know, before we started recording. Like yeah. it's so ha it's so good to see him, you know, smiling and having a good time or whatever, because. You know, he's yeah. been very public with a lot of his like battles with like depression and stuff like that, you know, and he oh, dude. Been yeah, stated before that, it, you know, at one point he didn't know if he'd be able to get out of it. So being able to see this and like when he was when he was saying, you know, trying to be a better me, that's exactly, you know, that's exactly the whole point, the whole message of this song. It's like I said, it's one whole fucking redemption song, you know, and I I. I couldn't be more stoked on something, you know, a hundred percent. This is definitely something that's really big to be proud of. All right. So let's fucking continue it, man. Let's bring it out. I'm so done with it and I'll run with it for as long as I can. I'm shutting down at one foot in the ground and I got no confidence left. Don't need one another. Testify it. It's time to boy damn bro man like i've never like i've listened to a lot of hardy i've never heard him like have like any kind of like harsh vocals like that like i've never seen him go to the you know those depths in his music you know so it's cool to see whenever you see an artist that you're that are known for something and that they go out of their comfort zone to try something different and they end up fucking nailing it bro yeah you dude can tell what good friends caleb and him are bro i hope they make yeah, good, more music that's all i gotta say yeah dude like I knew Hardy was definitely capable of doing vocals like that, especially after his sold out performance and also the song sold out because there's a lot of yep. harsh vocals, especially in terms of the chorus. Um, so being able to see him do that more on a song is kind of fucking sick. And to pair him up with Beartooth is like the right move. There's like oh, yeah. there's always a time where you see a featured artist where you're like, hold on. And then you hear it and you're like, hold on. <laughs> and then you're just like, damn, dude, it really works. And their voices really do bounce well off of each other like if hardy oh, yeah. decided to do more of a harder album i'd be fucking hyped like a hundred percent i'd be fucking hyped this dude nailed the collab like this dude definitely understood the assignment hands down 
Um, and it definitely broadened my mind to really want to hop in and check out some more Hardy because, again, I'm not disappointed with anything I fucking heard. That was solid. And for the second, like, clean run through to really be able to appreciate more of, like, you know, the tones, uh, the lyrics, to really hear his execution on it and to really be able to dissect it all over again really helped for a second run through. So that was te technically my kind of most authentic reaction I could give because it was a good time, especially with the visuals. Yeah. It really helped bring the mood of the song up and really help grasp the situation and i, I dude i'm stoked on it and i'm, I'm and really like glad I was, you enjoyed it and like i was saying earlier like you know like you know when we used to hang out or whatever at our, at our old buddy's house and we just like chatting you know mate you know just chit chatting and talking shit and just going for a nighttime drive just blasting fucking music and i just got a lot of those flashbacks just watching them in the music video like when they were speeding out on the highway in the car just you know having a good old time raging the fuck out man fucking singing songs uh, the, the the highest octave that we possibly fucking can <laughs> yeah man that, those uh those were the days <laughs> exactly but, uh... man and like i got a lot of nostalgia feeling for the song great song check it out if you guys haven't because uh I don't think you guys would be disappointed. Hell yeah, guys. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like the uh, original video, the link will be in the description box down below, guys. Make sure to subscribe and follow all Danny Huckins on all of his socials down below. Um, check him out on We Are Wrestling and Two Sticks and Pure Age podcast as well. We're going to be uh, researching that here pretty soon. Um, and be sure to subscribe to We Are Wrestling, our conjoined podcast with our brother, Best One Don, which you can follow him in the socials down below as well. Uh, like always, guys, be safe, stay safe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.